Hi friends, I'm Felicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the mid-year book freak out tag for you. I almost forgot the title. Shoot, I forgot to look up who the original creators are. Um, I know it was two people. One of them is Chammy from... Oh, it's Chammy? Is that Chammy? I forgot what her channel name is. Anyways, and I forgot who the other person is. I should have wrote that down. But I will leave a link to the original videos here. Okay, so we're just going to hop into the questions. The first question is the best book that I've read so far this year. And that definitely for me is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I read the whole trilogy this year and they are the best books that I have read this year. Question number two is the best sequel that I have read so far this year. And I'm going to say Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I don't have that because I have the dust jacket. Do you want to see it? It looks kind of weird without a book underneath it. I, I'm lending it to my brother right now, so I don't have it. But, but that is the best sequel that I've read so far this year. Question number three is a new release that I haven't read yet, but one that I want to. Uh, I'm going to have to say Storm. Stop. You know, your life is very hard as a cat. You're being annoying today. Bye. Ugh, Storm is so annoying. For me, that is going to be Space Opera by Catherine M. Valente. It just sounds a lot like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I really want to read that. Question number four is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year. For that one, I will say Amulet Volume 8 is scheduled to come out in September. I am very excited. I hope that it will. I think it's been two years since volume seven came out so i'm excited and the other one is bridges of clay by marcus suzak and that's coming out in october apparently i'm very excited for that one too and i don't even know what it's about but marcus suzak has a new book coming out so i'm excited <laughs> question number five is your biggest disappointment i'm gonna say from twinkle with love by sandia menon i had just really enjoyed when dimple met rishi and this one just didn't live up to it for me. I just was really, I was disappointed with it. I thought it would be better and it wasn't very good. Question number six is your biggest surprise. And I don't have an answer for that because I haven't been really been surprised by anything. So I don't have an answer for that one. Question number seven is your favorite new author. And I don't have an answer for that one either because most of the things that I've read have been by authors that I've read before or I wasn't that impressed to call them a favorite or they only have one book out so I don't know if I want to call them a favorite either so I don't have an answer for that one. Question number eight is your newest fictional crush. Faramir from Lord of the Rings for sure. Book Faramir is freaking awesome and I love him. He's very swoony. Question number nine is your newest favorite character. I I don't know I guess Faramir because he's super cool. Also, I really like Treebeard, but like I feel like those don't count as like new favorite characters because I've seen the movies and they're like old books, so I don't know. <laughs> Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. I don't really cry at books, but Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis had me very emotional. Question number 11 is a book that made you happy. A Pear Seer by Janice McLeod. absolutely loved her first book, uh, The Paris Letters. And this is just as good. It's like a day by day kind of journal entries and it just takes you through a year of her living in Paris and I loved it. It's filled with illustrations and pictures and it made me very happy. Question number 12 is your favorite book to movie adaptation that you've seen this year? This is okay this is funny because this is not a favorite movie or a favorite book or anything but my favorite book to movie adaptation that I've only seen two and my favorite one <laughs> I've seen this one and Ready Player One. Ready Player One I don't know it was a fun movie but my, okay the favorite one my answer is The Death Cure which is number three in the Maze Runner trilogy and I will tell you why that's my favorite because to me the books are absolute garbage and I read the whole trilogy and they're all garbage but I actually have enjoyed the movies and I like the direction they took them as opposed to the books 
So that's my favorite book to movie adaptation because it actually wasn't garbage. It's actually pretty good. Question number 13 is your favorite video that you've done so far this year. I guess my favorite video is my bookshelf, uh, TBR bookshelf reorganizing and unhaul and tour. Um, just because that one, I actually did like different things while editing it, first of all. And I just had a lot of fun making it. And I would like to do more videos like that in the future. Question number 14 is the most beautiful book that you've acquired so far this year. And I have to say The Little Book of Hugo by Meek Viking. I have no idea how to say his name. And I just got this book like a month ago and I haven't read it yet because I don't know why I just haven't. I feel like I just want to save it for a cold day or a rainy day or something. And oh, it's just so beautiful. Like it feels, it feels so nice in my hands. I'm just going to geek out a little bit feels so nice in my hands. The texture of the cover is beautiful illustration with some gold embossing and like the pages are so beautiful and they have just beautiful pictures like look at them. So this is for sure the most beautiful book I've acquired so far this year. Question number 15 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Do you see, do you see my shelf? This is my summer TBR. <laughs> but for sure, specifically, I want to finish reading The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Because I just really want to finish reading them. It needs to happen, so. Yeah. And that's it. That is the mid-year book freakout tag. If you've done this tag, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I'll go check it out. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a new favorite book crush from this year so far. I would love to know. So thanks very much for watching and until next time, so long and thanks for all the fish.